there. I feel a little tired today, worked last night. Down here, somewhere around Hamilton. Um, we're just kind of looking for a shaft here that we've, we've heard exists. And um, kind of thinking just by the pictures we took in the past that it looks kind of promising. So let's, let's get there and have a look. This is uh, these are wild turkeys. They like to live in the scrub. They come down and they go back and roost up in the trees at night. Don't see any, but that's where they spend their nights. We've done a lot of digging in this area, various sinkholes and what have you. So it's usually the lower spots in the land where we find our sinkholes. And sometimes the surface features tip you off, sometimes they don't. So this is the Greik, obviously. Kind of a long straight. I guess the Greik's a, a joint that's been enlarged. And how deep is it, Jeff? Eight feet there. Okay. I can hear water running. You've got various, you know, channels cut into the clayish soil that lead to this this feature. We're looking at comes from a little. This crevice drops down, down, open it there. Kind of too tight for me. It looks that way right now. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, this is, if you're going to dig somewhere, this would be the spot. So I'm, I'm, what is, what I'm seeing is it seems to go along down at the bottom level there. It appears it may open to what looks like another shaft going downwards a bit, but I'm running out of battery power, so I don't know how long this is going to last here. It's a summer dig, as, as my cave partner points out. So that's a sink point you can kind of see in a snowy field where the trees just, the brush goes out and just stops. So that's a sink point, the resurgence being about 100 meters away that direction. Looks like the resurgence of a, a sink. Looking at just up there, flows away. Oh, it's just interesting, in the middle of winter you can do all sorts of possibilities when you're not so cluttered by the brambles and the bushes. You think this might be a sink? You making fun of me? Not the first time. I think this might be a sink. This is above what we call Llama Cave because there was a house down there with llamas. actually a chain of sinks that lead to the eventual resurgence of Lama Cave. This is the uppermost sink it joins to another one a little further on so we're gonna head down there and see what we can find. Look at that. Geese. Tons and tons of geese. So here's the others. This is the other sink here at the top of Lama Cave. We're just trying to figure out. It seems to be like low bedding plane. There's Jeff. It seems wherever they pile the most wire is where the entrance usually is. You hear the water rumbling down this little sinkhole and it's just blowing quite a breeze. Just trying to get a picture down there. There's the uh, one of the sinks for Lama Cave, so you know the tunnel's following this direction. There's your stream down there. Coming out of the cliff face. There's your fence to keep the llamas back. Very crumbly rock, unlikely to find caves in this. It's probably just found a, a layer of shale and uh, beneath all of this fractured, friable rock. And it's just kind of flowing along in very low bedding plane. So I don't have a lot of hopes. I know we say llama cave, hardly a cave. Um, just a, a route for the water. Guy used to have a house here pretty intense security system, the gates down at the far end, um, cameras, the works. I know we did ask him once and he let us come on and check out the cave ever so briefly, but I'm not sure what it was all about. And then one day we came by and uh, a couple of guys in black clothes taking his stuff away. He must have died. So all that's left of his house, a pile of rubble. 
Kind of a pretty spot though, with the history. Here's our security precautions at the front of the, uh, of the Lama property. Pretty cool though, I must admit. I mean, they used to have the cameras up on the top there and uh, what have you. Looks kind of gothic actually. Kind of place you'd expect to see a, a cave. So they used to stick their heads on the spike up there. Catch you in their property, head on the spike with you. Looks kind of creepy almost, but still interesting. The amount of water that flows into the main sink, it's got to be at least a humanable slither passage. Plus the other sink joins in not too far along. Yeah, yeah. So what about, the, you know, like in the spring too, eh? Like it's, what, it's... It takes a lot of water. Yeah, it's blasting out as you say, right? Yes, sir. So you got to, yeah, 